uh, with, with um, uh, folks right now giving voice to not trusting law enforcement. One of the most important things we can do to build that trust is to make sure that we are fully transparent right now uh, about it. And, and if it bears out um, um, that, that, that actions were taken wrongly, I guarantee you we'll act. And we'll act strongly. Uh, so the question is, with skepticism out there about law enforcement, how they investigate uh, themselves, this is uh, the Kentucky State Police um, looking at a situation that occurred with uh, both LMPD and the National Guard. My understanding is that KSP was not in any way um, uh, involved uh, in those issues. This is the team that does this, though. They do it statewide. Uh, they do it in different jurisdictions. This is the group that, that you'd, you'd call upon. Uh, and, and this is a group that I think will do it faster uh, and, and we'll, we'll get to the truth. But what I can tell people is I'm going to make sure that we get to the truth. And I hope people have seen that, that throughout, whether it's dealing with COVID or the rest, uh, I'm willing to admit when the wrong things happen. Uh, and I'm willing to try to live up to it and, and to make change. We don't know uh, that that occurred here. And that's why I want people to see it for themselves. And they shouldn't have to just believe me. That's why I want to get that body camera footage out. I think everybody else does too. Admittedly, I'm adding a whole lot of pressure to it uh, right now, but, but, but that's the, the right thing to do. Stefan. Oh, I'm sorry. This is so much bigger than her, but we can't get justice with violence. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't help. It's, it doesn't help her. It doesn't help us. It doesn't help the world we live in. We can't fight violence with violence.